how to change your voice on Discord as well as voice changer for Discord are the topics of today's video. So if you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it and also go and leave a like as well. I'm showing you a free voice changer in today's video for you to go and change your voice on Discord. It's so, so cool and you can do some pretty cool things with it. And make sure to watch the whole video as well so you don't miss any single important bit of information uh, I reveal about installing the whole sort of um, voice changer. So without any further ado, let's jump into this. So now I'm going to show you the best voice changer for Discord. It is a free voice changer and it's a really good software. So the first thing you want to do is simply open up a browser of your choice and go to your search engine. Now all you want to do is simply search for a software called Clownfish. Now now you know the software, do not click off because I'm going over the full setup as it can be a bit complicated but it's made very simple with this video. So what you want to do is simply search for Clownfish voice changer. Wait for it to load and it's this one here. Clownfish voice changer. Now it says for Skype, but it will work on all of the systems um, because it's simply changing your whole computer. As you can see, you've got a few options here. Uh, Steam, Skype, Discord, etc. There's a ton of them. So let's go and download this. So to do that, we need to do is come to this top bar here and move along to download. Wait for it to load. And then we've got these options here, as you can see. So all you want to do here is simply go for the 64 bit. So it can be either of these. So it's kind of up to you, but I'm gonna go for this one. Um, if you've got a 32-bit system, then make sure you go for this one here. So simply wait for the download. It's a really, really small download, and then simply click on it. My screen just went blank because of a window security, but you've got to do is simply click yes, and now let's go and through this installer. So let's go and click next. Uh, you can choose where you want it to download. So I don't want a desktop uh, shortcut or a start menu shortcut. And I'm going to click next. Uh, it can go into my program files. That's fine. Click next. And now it's installing. As you can see, it doesn't take a minute at all. Then I'm just going to click install. Sorry about that, I actually stopped my voice recorder because it has to change settings in the audio settings of your computer, but it does it all by itself. And also a terminal did pop up, which let it do its own thing and wait till it's all finished. And now I can click next and then I can click finish. So basically we're now ready to go. So let's go and close off Chrome. We finished with our Chrome and we're back in Discord. So to open it, because I didn't actually put it as a desktop icon, I'm gonna to have to go into my program files to find it. But usually it's gonna appear in your list here if your programs, but because I did not do it that way, uh, mine won't be there. So I'm gonna go and find the launcher and uh, I'll show you how to do that in case you didn't already know. So once you double tap, all you want to do is come down to your bottom bar and then come onto the little arrow and simply find Clownfish Voice Changer, right click on it. And the first you want to do is go to setup and go to system integration. You're then gonna get this pop up here. Just make sure you've got your mic selected. So mine is microphone and it says remove. Once you've done that, you can go and click close. And then you want to go into Discord, go to user settings, go to your voice and video, and then make sure you've got the same microphone selected as you did select in Clownfish. Then you need to go back and open up Clownfish once again. So right click on it and simply go to set to voice changer. And then you get the Clownfish program. So you've got all of these different options for your voice here. So if I wanted Helium, simply double clap on Helium. And as you can hear, my voice has now gone to a Helium effect. To clear it, just click clear effect and it's back to normal. So to test this, um, I recommend using a program called Audacity. Now currently I've already got um, it running, but just open it up, click record, change your voice to Helium. So, and now you can hear me, and then you can click stop and listen to it back. But otherwise, just double click on Helium when you're in a Discord call, and it's, your voice is gonna go to Helium. If you found this video useful, subscribe down below, hit the like button. I'll catch you in the next one. Have an awesome day, peace.